How's it going? My name is Mike Anderson. I am an audio engineer. I've been doing audio engineering since 2011 as a freelancer, and I do a lot of music, post-production, and various other audio-related tasks. I am also a musician, so I produce, mix, master, record all of my band's music, as well as my own solo stuff, which you will hear in this video. In this video, I wanted to show off tracking via Pro Tools and also give kind of an overview of how well Pro Tools is running on the new M1 MacBook Air with eight gigabytes of RAM. So in this video, I will be tracking um, some flavor guitar um, atmosphere for a new recording that I'm working on for my solo music. And I wanted to show you guys how Pro Tools is running on the M1 chip from Apple. So anyway, really quick before I dive into my demonstration of tracking in Pro Tools, which, spoiler alert, it went really well. Not a problem whatsoever. There was only one little caveat and that I will discuss when I go into the tracking, and that is that my hardware buffer size can only be set to 128 or higher. So at the moment, that's kind of the only downside, but for tracking guitar, that was plenty. And it still went very smoothly. So anyway, to show you guys my very clean setup, I have my MacBook Air running right here. I've got this plugged straight into this CalDigit hub, which as you can see on the back here, I have everything plugged into. Here's my 18i20. This is what everything is running through. I have my iLoud micro monitors, my external hard drives down here. And here I have my Dell 4K monitor that I am using. We go up here, you can see I'm using Big Sur MacBook Air M1 2020, eight gigabytes of RAM. I have my 500 gig SSD inside and I have 12 terabytes of external hard drives. And to go up here, here is my playback engine setup. Here I've got the 18i20 USB, 128 samples for my hardware buffer size. Over here I was trying to have it set to 64, but it was doing a lot of popping and clicking while I was using the guitar tool rack direct in to track. For my session that I have going on here, as you can see, I don't have a huge amount of plugins, but I definitely have a substantial amount going on. As you can see, I've got Vitamin, MC404, ML1, Revolver and H-Delay, Melodyne, Butchvig Vocals, Doubler 4, Multiply. These are all running very well. So I've got all that running in Rosetta on Pro Tools 2020.11 on an M1 MacBook Air, and it is running perfectly smooth. Uh, I'm going directly into my Scarlett, and for my settings, I've got an overdrive pedal. I'm using the Waves GTR plugin, using the Punchy amp, a couple different amps. Um, also in this session, I have um, so all these are guitar, and I've got drums through Easy Drummer, bass track here, which is direct in, also using guitar amp from Waves, as well as a little compression. Um, I'm also running H Delay from Waves. That is getting sent to my reverb along with a lot of other things. This is Revolver from McDSP. On my master bus, I'm also running Vitamin and um, the MC404 multiband compressor, also from McDSP. As you can see, you can very smoothly run through the interface, and I'm about to lay down a little flavor guitar track uh, just to demonstrate tracking uh, using a Scarlett 18i20 on an M1 MacBook Air using Pro Tools, which is not optimized at all. <laughs>
So there you have it. Um, just tracked this, if you want to hear. So very cleanly tracked, not a problem whatsoever. All right, so I hope that answers some of your guys' questions about how well Pro Tools can run on the M1 Max. So far in my testing, I have had no issues with third-party plugins. I'm using ones from Slate Digital, Waves, McDSP, uh, Acon Digital, and several others that I don't even remember at this point. So far, all of it has worked incredibly well. Even running in Rosetta, this thing is screaming through projects. I do plan on doing some testing soon regarding doing video post-production via Pro Tools in Rosetta. Uh, I have yet to test the video engine in Pro Tools on this new system, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that that works as well. But if this is any indication, um, so far I have had no issues whatsoever. I also plan on testing out Studio One version 4 and also 5 with third-party plugins and the stock plugin support. And I will also be doing some testing in Logic as well. Um, so anyway, if there's specific plugins you're wondering about or um, DAWs that you're wondering about or just any other questions, even games or other apps, leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them and or make a new video showing off how those things perform. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more coverage of the M1 Max and how well they perform for an audio engineer. Anyway, I'm Mike Anderson, and I will see you in the next one.